Local fishermen risk their lives to illegally harvest a balloon, a valuable seafood found along South Africa's coastline, to sell to Asian crime syndicates. These fishermen brave cold, shako invested waters to harvest this valuable but protected sea creature. A balloon is a delicacy in parts of Asia, and here in South Africa, the seafood is at the heart of a transnational illicit trade network. It is priced in Hong Kong, mainland China, and elsewhere in East Asia, where dishes featuring the marine mollusks are coveted at wedding banquets and can cost thousands of dollars. Illegal divers also search for rock lobster, which is sold on the local market. But as anti-poaching efforts intensify, these men fear for their lives. It's like a threat for me also now, because I shoot in that ass now. But what can I do? I must go on with my life. I lost a cousin. Unfortunately, my life must just go on. Because I was my kids is going to go hungry. The level of force used by marine law enforcement inspectors is being questioned. Earlier this year, protests erupted in the Hangbang community after a young fisherman went missing at the sea. The community believe he was shot by anti-poaching inspector, but bullet holes were found in his boat and his body was never recovered. If I can justify you know, um, the force level I used, then it's legal. Uh, simple example is I can respond with whatever they are threatening me with. So if my life is in danger, if they're trying to ram me with a vessel, then we by all means allowed to use deadly force. Soaring unemployment rates and ongoing socioeconomic ills turn young fishermen into poaching. A successful harvest can earn a diver up to $690, which is about 2,680,924 shillings, roughly three times the monthly minimum wage. In Hong Kong, the seafood delicacy can reach prices as high as 45,372,600 shillings, which is $12,000 per kilogram. But conversionists fear poachers are wiping out the population and warn that their illicit income will soon dry out. If we're not successful with preventing the poaching, then the eventually we'll reach a point where you know, both abalone and rock clubs, rock clubs are so heavily depleted that, again, those people will be out of work. So we, we really do need to find a way of creating viable, sustainable, meaningful employment opportunities for those people that are currently engaged in, in poaching. According to Wildlife Trade Monitoring Network Traffic, the black market trade is organized by Asian crime syndicates and in some cases local street gangs. It also reports that 9.6 million abalone were poached in 2016 alone, the highest levels of poaching recorded in the last 20 years. South Africa divers risk all to poach marine delicacies for China dinners. Overfishing started affecting a balloon stocks as early as 1950s, but it was not until the mid-90s that rampant poaching began to take a grift hole. 